Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. I am doing a challenge right here. And this challenge is a friend challenge over on Stamp Nation. Missy Rain Fran challenged me to do a card with products that you don't go out and buy that aren't particularly in your craft room. And I made a funny remark that we don't need to... <laughs> Uh, over shop and we don't need to have everything we don't need to hoard everything that I'm not and we could just take buttons off our husband's shirts and I went on and on and use uh, origami with our typing paper and do birds and use your ink from your fax machine well I took your challenge on there Fran my friend Fran and let's get at it. Here's my typing paper right here. Just old typing paper. This was a box I tore apart to get myself. It's going to be a large tag. I'm going to make a tag. And I'm going to use buttons off of an old hunch hunting shirt right here. And I used, I grabbed three of them. And I'm going to use a pencil eraser. I found this old rickrack on a skirt that I was just using the fabric for for another project. And I started to make a flower out of it. And I wanted to show you what I was doing. I was just interweaving. Now back in the day, you would have a sewing needle, right? I'm not using a sewing machine. I am doing all of this tag with stuff that's just things we have around the house right and that's what I said so that's what I'm going to do and I am going to do it this far like so and if you want to do any of this I would suggest you put gloves on because toner ink is not the same as our ink so anyway I wanted to have a flower and I have one there so I'll set that aside. I grabbed some twigs out of the yard. Got some twigs. I ripped some more of that paper. And last night I was eating some of these uh, sunflower seeds. So why not? I'll use this into my tag. The, the leftover dried out sunflower seed shells. Toilet paper. Yes, we cannot use paper towels because in the day we're fortunate to have toilet paper. So I'm using this as my cleanup product and water. Mm-hmm. I think the only thing I grabbed in here that was newer was my paint brushes, but you could always get those. Here's my toner, Fran. I have blue toner. And all you do is, with your old toners that come out of your fax machine, you just take a pen, watch this, and see these holes? These are little, these come out. There's little wee um, rubber stoppers there, and you can get them out. I'm trying to do it without having to get my hands full of the ink, but I'll show you. There it is. And then you will have leftover toner down there to use. Oh yeah, right there. See that little stopper down there? Not only will be able to use we'll be able to use that stopper for something else. I'll show you. So I have blue. I have my uh, fax pad of ink. That's black. I have pink here, pink and blue and red. And I made a hole out the side. See how you do that? You just push that stopper out. And why waste that little bit that's left in your toner inks? Oh yeah. I keep these leftover ones because if you bring them back, see what I'm saying? If you bring them back to the store, you get a dollar off of each toner. So grab your toilet paper because you're going to need to be cleaning. Then have some water around. I have my water. Now glue. Oh yeah. Isn't that awesome? Look at this. Okay, so my, my buttons are drying. I have a pink and a blue and a white. So I set them there and let's just clean that up because I don't want it getting into anything. Then I grabbed some of this 
plastic bubble stuff that I got out of um, a shipment. And Virginia, my friend Virginia, made me hand cream. Homemade hand cream. Look at Hand and body lotion. It is absolutely wonderful. And I just got it. Look at that. And the smell. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Virginia. So I used the box that she sent that to me and, and tore it up. And then I had this old strainer. I'm going to use this as a um, stencil. And then look at this. The only thing you're going to be able to use, my friends, is flower water. And here's the consistency I made it. See how it's dripping out there? So I have that flower water and an old 25 cent wooden ruler. Okay, look at 25 cents at the thrift store. I'm using that. So let's get on to our project. And that's about it. That's what we're making this tag out of. No fancy dancy anything from my craft room. Oh no. So I have my old piece of cardboard, right? I'm going to make it a tag. So I'm taking my old scissors, not my Tim Holtz scissors. I want it to be kind of in a tag shape like that. So we have the tag. I grab my garbage. I love challenges, don't you? They end up, you end up, um, in your mind a little more instead of the product that you easily put a die cut through or and I love mixed media so this challenge was awesome so here you go we're going to do there's my tag on the t I thought what I would do is make a tree on here so I'm going to cut out A tree formation that's going to go down here like that and I like it because it's not really thick to have to dry so let's see how this works so you're going to take your flower water and let me move this over where do I want to have my tree I don't want a big, big tree. Right there. There. And it has the pattern of the... Let me just see. I might end up just tearing it there, so I'll flick it the other way. So the bottom is down here. Like so. Just flower water. That's it. Keep your garbage close hand. All right, now, I want to have in here, uh, let me see, where's my ruler? Okay, so take your ruler, and I'll use this typing paper in a second. Move this up. So here's my tag. I want to make a hole in my tag. Where's my pen? So I want to know where that's going to be. Yeah, no fancy dancy punch. It's just going to be a hole from my pen right there. And I'll take a little bit of this Rick Rack after I run it. Let's see. Let me grab this paper, dip it in some pink. This is ink toner. Oh yeah, turn it around. Change it up and dip it in some blue. There we go. And let's snip it off right there. Put it through our tag. And this is off the bottom of a skirt. So let's just tie that in a knot or a bow, a bow like so, 
Love that. Okay. And I want to make some lines in my tree. So take my ruler and my fax ink here for my it's typewriter ink actually. And let's can you see me there? Let's zoom in on my there. So because we're not using any fancy schmancy stuff. And because the lines are going the opposite way on this piece of cardboard, this works out perfect. A little line. There we are. Then let's take our bubble wrap, dip it in our toner. I think I'll dip it in the blue on the top just to get some color in the background. Here's my toner. They're loving it. Okay. And then I want to put in, there's my tree, I want to put some bushes in here. So let's grab my little wee strainer. Let's take some of our flower water, because this is going to be our paste, like our medium. Put it on the top like this. Not on the bottom, on the top. Then take some paper. Take your paper, paper here and dip it down first to get some of it off because you just want to have the, the dots, right? You just want the dots. Here we go. So let's get some mixed media medium here with our strainer and our glue, our paste. It's not glue, it's flower water. Let's put some more on here. and that will dry to nice little circles there we are so we get a bit of mixed media in there with that set that over there and we'll color that as soon as it dries we have to air dry it right because we don't have any machines we're not plugging anything in let me show you up close so we have some mixed media on our tree. Then I think I need my ruler again to add some bushes. So run it across your ink. And let's just make a few little bushes down here. grab my pink my pink toner yeah let's do some pink lines to here grab some blue lines with our toner okay I think sometimes this black turns out to be the nicest awesome down there. I'm waiting for that to dry up there. And let's take a few little twigs and add them. Where's our glue? Remember this has to dry. Get that paste in there. Believe it or not, uh, flower paste does dry uh, reasonably clear when you do uh, when you're doing um, paper mache. It dries clear. I'm going to put a few down here. I'm going to send this to you, Fran. This is going to be your gift. 
Oh well, yeah, here's some more of my... There we go. And that's going to dry. You have to put a fair amount on there. You can always scrape it off, but you want that to dry, right? You can take some off. Okay. And then let me get my buttons. I think I want to add a button up here on my tag right there because it goes with the pink where that hole is. So that will dry. I'm going to add some paste right down in that hole. I want it to dry kind of with some pink in it like that. I think that's cute. And then let me get my little wee sunflower seeds. And these are going to be on my... See, mixed media is awesome. It is. Then I'm going to make my little birds, my birds out of my typing paper. I want this to look rugged. There. I was eating these last night. Isn't that awesome? So at least I know where they came from. There we go. And how many? Four? We have to have five. I'll turn one the other way up because we're going to paint them with our toner. Oh yeah. Let me just pull this in. This is our glue. This is our flower water. There, I like that. I like that. This is coming around really nicely. Okay, so we're going to paint those. So let's grab our toner. I think I'm going to do it deep pink. So here's my toner. I'm getting some out of there. Okay, then take a paintbrush or a straw. I grabbed a straw because this is what I'm going to do. I want circles on here. I want some color on my toner. Let's add some pink up in the tree. Isn't this awesome? Just a straw. Just a straw. There we go. Then let's take some blue. Right back to the blue. And take some out. And grab our eraser. Okay. And I am going to polka dot these just little spots of blue in my sunflower seeds. Like so. Ah. I want some darker to have some. So that's that. And let's get my little flower here. Sew it together. This will be a big sunflower. How much time do I have left? Oh, I'm good. And let's sew this little thing together. Cutesy wootsy. And flower water dries wonderfully, like for doing a mixed media dresses and stuff like that. I have to get my birds made too with my paper. There we go. 
Actually, this would make a nice heart. I might make a heart out of this. Okay. Let's just put one more piece of thread through here. I don't want to use up my time just sewing. Oh, I guess I'm not going to because I put a knot in there. Okay, good enough. Grab your scissors. I mean, if you really want to go rugged, you could chew it off with your teeth. But I don't suggest it for your enamel sake. There we go. Let's pull this down. Pull it down. See what shape we get out of here. Let's see where we can put this. Hmm. Yep, I'm loving that. This is the beauty. Mixed media is whatever looks good with your eye. So, this is going to dry right there, and this is where my blue button's coming in handy. Right in the middle. Get it under there. Well, let's put that down first. That'll dry there. And my button is right there. You don't have to press too hard. This will dry, believe you me. Now, I want some edging on here. So, let's take our ruler again. Dip it in some ink. And let's just go across here. Because it's drying, I don't want to run it like... See, if I had a green toner, we'd be all set. But I don't. So we have to work with our ruler. Now, get my paper origami bird for up in the tree. Okay, I stamped some black dots on here. Let's close this up for a second. Let me get my pencil. And I want my bird to be all kinds of colors. So I started... Oh, I want to stay on to my project. So let's put my project there so you can see it. This is going to be my bird. Move that over. I want it all colors. This with the bottom. Okay, get our scissors. And let's cut our little bird. It's going to sit on the top there. I guess we could draw it out. Do I have any pencil left? Excuse my arm. Sorry. Okay, let's draw a bird here out of this. First, I'm going to need a base of my bird. How big? That's what you have to determine. How big is this bird going to be? Mine's going to be like that. It's going to sit up. Let's see. There. Okay. So let's draw this little birdie out. I put the... It's already dry. I put the flower water and I put two... pieces of, sorry, of paper, typing paper together. There we are. I'm cutting just above where... There we go. Man, it looks like a turtle with uh, fins on it there. Gotta do something with that. I'm going to cut this off and add my head last. That is not, looks like a fish now, but I want it to sit up in here. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut my little head, then come with my bird like that. See, there's always all kinds of things you can do. Restoration. There we go. Then I'll put, let me see. Doesn't need a belly that big. 
and there we go. Let's add some. And I want to do the edges. Let's get my toner ink in and let's make some edges because nothing looks worse than it being all white. There we go. Much better. Okay. I need a little beak on this gaffer. Where should we sit them up here or on the tree on the tree so let's get our flower water out how much time yikes got to get moving here there like so keep his head up I like that idea in the tree and let's outline our let's see I need to get some Taking some toilet paper. I'm wetting my toilet paper. Just a minute. Like so. Because I need some texture. Let's get some texture up in here in the tree. Hey, I can clean my hands and get all kinds of texture. Um, I think we need texture up in the tree, like so, like little leaves. Dip your fingers in, like so. I think adding the color like this, and it's coming off my hands, which is awesome. Okay, pull some more. Let's make some. I hope I'm going to have to put some glue down here. It's not. There we go. Come on. There we are. There we go. Toilet paper mache. Oh, yeah. Where's my straw, or my spoon, excuse me. Stretch that up there with my bird. That'll all dry. I'll show you the finished product project when it's finished, dry. There we go. And where's my ruler? Oh, we're winding down. I need some black ink on my ruler. Because I want to make this like branches coming out of my mixed media piece. Awesome. You can push it together to make the branches look thinner. And your you have to have texture. So there you have my nice piece made out of stuff I had around the house. Quickly grab my pink toner, put it around this flower, loving it. 